the storm. Well, the workers at a heavy-duty tow trucking company say they were well prepared for the recent storm, but you might still notice a few of those vehicles still stranded in ditches across the state. Good evening. I'm McLeod Hageman. And I'm Jessica Coons. You can see the aftermath of last week's storm everywhere, from the mountains of snow to ice-covered sidewalks. But that's not all. We talked with the owner of a towing company in Tilton who responded to dozens of rescues, and they're still not done working. Marley Capper joins us. Marley, so I'm wondering why did so many trucks get stuck, and when will they be taken off the roads? Great questions. Let's start by watching this video sent in by Tom Franey. You can see here that this towing truck or this semi truck was pushed off the road. There's a truck that's coming off here. It swerved off the road. The truck is going. They don't have enough time to stop. Boom, both trucks. Thankfully, nobody was injured. But he's saying a big contributor to them being on the side of the road is because of what you just saw behind me. Now, Illinois State Police say it could take a few days to tow all of the remaining trucks. As the snow started falling across central Illinois, the need for heavy duty towing kicks into gear. We were like 60 some of them in five days, and over half were emergency responses. During last week's storm, Carnegie towing owner Brian Carnegie says towing semi trucks was a dangerous game. You got to coordinate with the police department, you got to know what the traffic situation is. Carnegie says they have to divert traffic with signs and flashing lights to keep everyone safe. Waiting on traffic, you know, sometimes, and then you got to tow it in, you might be four hours on a call. So what is causing so many truck drivers to slide off the road? Tom Franey, owner of Tom Franey Trucking Incorporated, says... The semi-trucks can handle slick roads and snow. When the state police come out and, and tell the general public to, to stay off the roads unless it's an absolute emergency, they mean it. But when other drivers do unpredictable things, it's harder for them to stop right away. That, that's a lot of times how semis end up in the ditch. And what happens to the goods inside the freight? Well, Franey says things perishing isn't the main concern. The worst part of it is that freight was supposed to be somewhere on time and it's not. Franey says most items will survive if the truck is not damaged, but it could be costly for the companies who expected an on-time arrival. Now, Carnegie Towing says they've done at least 60 rescues already and that their drivers have easily put in 60 to 80 hours of work this week. It could take a few more days to get all the stranded trucks off. So if you see one on the side of the road, be careful. All right, Marley, thank you so much.